And we're off at Barclays Center, and the tip controlled by Sammy Whitcomb. Kicks out to Parker. CP3 thought about the back door cutting Sloop, but takes it herself and hits the mid-range J. Candace is so good. Last game, they were a little sluggish at the beginning of the game. Maybe didn't have their legs, as Coach Walt Hopkins said, prior to Tuesday's game, as Vandersloot connects on the mid-range as well. They're limiting Chicago to one shot. Oh, nice look from Wickham into Shook, and she lays it up and in with the left, and the Liberty are on the board. Good defense there by Dolson. Nice backdoor cut by Courtney Vandersloot, and look who had the vision, CP3. She makes it so difficult for post players because she's technically a guard. And there's the first three. That's because I'm walking around in your head over there. <laughs> Living rent free. ABC. Hey. Oh, there it is from the corner. Onion Wade. Good defense turning into offense for New York, and that's when we've seen them be successful. Kalia Copper, mid-range jumper is good. I love seeing NBA players coming out to support WNBA players because at the end of the day, we're all family. Absolutely, 100%. When we were in Westchester County, we saw Karis Levert at Westchester County. We also saw Donovan Mitchell as Vandersloot lays that. They are three for 16 from the field, two of 10 from distance. Nice look from Yanescu into Shook. Seen better defense from the Liberty here tonight, Ashley. Absolutely. They were passing the ball. Oh, oh the my goodness. The Niger Lady and then Jazz Jones gets called for the foul, but good defense. Motion by the Liberty on the offensive side of the ball and intensity on defense as Copper. That's a tough shot. Out of control there for Shook as Copper ahead of the field. See now at Leonardine Park, we used to call that cherry picking. <laughs> Uh, we called that a cherry picking in Pittsburgh, too. There's the aforementioned Allen. See if they can get her cooking as well. Allen there takes it go. right to the goal, lays it up and in with the left blue right by Allie Quigley. Ebert had position, Stokes did not, and she is charged for her first personal. Nice move by Diamond to Shields on the baseline. She lays it up and in, and it looks like she went down hard on her hip, but she's up under her own power. She gets the motion going for Chicago quickly. Quick trigger, we were talking about that on Tuesday night. You can't go under screens on her. You have to walk in at the hit and follow her around the screens. And Sabrina needs to stay a little bit closer to her when she's guarding her because she can shoot the ball really fast. Now Diamond to Shields dials it up and knocks it down. Wow. I'm really shocked that Allie Quigley didn't shoot that because Sammy Wickham went underneath on the screen and she was open for a three. But they got a layup anyway. Liberty two for 11 from downtown, shooting just 26% from the field. This Quigley, I saw tough that shot happen. there. I saw that about to happen. Coming up empty on the possession, James Wade wanted a foul. Nice board by Laney and she lays it up and in. Hard work there. Quigley hit the deck. That's one way of stopping her. Getting a little chippy here between these two teams is Ruthie Hebert with the turnaround jumper there. And bringing pride to the forefront. WNBA, the trailblazing lead that has done it as Laney hits the shot. And the Liberty do such a good job as an organization. A couple years ago, I was actually at the Pride Parade on the NBA float. So it's just a really great time to to be a part and to celebrate. As the Liberty now eight for 27 from the field as Candace Parker picked up the block there. Rebecca Allen trying to stop her progression into the paint, but Parker in her bag with the moves. Even though Candace was right, oh, nice play. Nice look inside, great motion, great movement without the ball by Copper, lays it up and in. That was a really nice play. Even though Sammy didn't want to shoot it with Candace behind her, that was a really good opportunity for her to use the rim to score on the other side. 
Stephanie Dolson working on Kylie Shook gets the shot to fall. Pass tipped there and it's intercepted by Parker. She'll lead the break three on one. Gives it up to Copper. Nice no look feed from Parker. And the lead is ballooned up to 19. Now the person who's on the wing is going to get a wide open three. And Candace Parker has a wide open three and she doesn't miss. The lead is 24. Teams are game planning for her. It's not coming as easy as it was earlier in the season. But this is how you can do that. Get into the post. There you go. Get into the post. Make shots. You see Chicago Sky, when they want a bucket, they'll do a high pick and roll, dive down, and either the post is going to get it or the person who's circling back up is going to get it for a jump shot. But the Liberty can't rely on the three. Just because it's not falling, and I know that's your bread and butter, you can't rely on it. Because you had two games in a row where it just hasn't been falling. What else are you going to do? And I, and I think I know the trivia. <laughs> I hope so. As Sammy Whitcomb I mean, that's a long gets time on ago. the board. And you're two for two on your calls, Benajah and then Didi. Hey. I know a little bit, a little bit about this game. On fire. And again, Laney in the lane. Nice little bounce pass there from Vandersloo to Dulce. Nice action there from Dee Dee Richards to Michaela Onion Wade. The rookie connection. Baylor and UCLA coming together. Um, there you go. This is a good one, too. Laney, mid range, doesn't get the roll. Shook there for the rebound. Her ninth rebound of the game. I like it. They should. You're on uh, Stan Van Gundy rules today. <laughs> oh, oh, Jeff Van Gundy. Way day. Jumps it down and goes for the line. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. It's a travel. And Vandersloot knocks down the three. She has 13 to go along with five assists. Vandersloot has been a double double machine as Onion Way Day, the Matador Onion defense. Onion by Chicago on that possession. Even better hands by Onion Wade, who denies Parker. To Dee Dee Richards, who is flying down the floor, lays it up again. And I just remember laying on the ground and my teammates trying to pick me up. And, and nah, I need a second. And I said, did it go in? <laughs> that one did. For the offensive foul. And I think what Walt was trying to say was it's happening on this end all game too, is Quigley. Hits one from downtown. Liberty with Laney, Shook, Odom, Jazz Jones, and Sabrina Ionescu. That is a long two for Laney. And tonight, the Liberty celebrating. As we head back to action here in the fourth quarter, as the Shields picks up right where she left off. That's 14 points for her. She was held scoreless in the third quarter. Adjust, sidestep, try something else, see if that works. Or not. And Sammy Whitcomb tells us both to shut up. <laughs> Liberty with 17 turnovers tonight, leading to 17 Chicago Sky points. Diamond does it. Mike Green. Bang! There I was waiting go. for him to make it so I could say it. Uh, nice movement without the ball by Copper, and it leads to a timeout for Walt Hopkins. But she has missed a total of 10 months time and it hasn't been a month straight as Allie Quigley knocks down the corner three with the assist from Vandersloot and as you can see she's extremely durable nothing but respect for Vandersloot and Candace Parker who knocks down the three with the New York Liberty taking it two games to one as James Wade and Walt Hopkins meet